I'm an independent demonstrator here in Australia and I'm here today to talk about the Love Today planner. Now I have shared about this planner before and it's only in the last week, maybe two weeks, that it's become more apparent that I need to use it more. I need to not have it sitting on my shelf, I need to have it sitting open on my desk so that I can see what's going on so I can use it more to its potential. So what I'm going to share with you today is a couple of ways how I've found to to use it. I've done some stamping in in the last month or so and I've actually designed a whole heap of planner sheets to fit into the Love Today planner. Now in your planner you get your little pockets, you get some little post-it notes, you get a couple of these sleeves plus you get all the tabs for all the months plus You've got this front sheet here that looks like a, a bundle of post-it notes so it's just like a um, a preview into the month. Then you've got the month spread here. See, I've got the um, blog hops and a few things like that have already been scheduled. Okay, and then we go through to the actual week to view on there. Okay, and then you've just got like a, a sheet to do notes or something like that on the back. So that's what you get from Stampin' Up! All the bits and pieces that you need and the beauty with this planner is that you can get refills for it. So you don't need to buy a whole new planner every year. All you need to do is buy the refill pack so you'll get all the bits and pieces that go on the inside. You just don't get the cover with the refill pack. What I've done is, I'm going to go back here now. I've done much at the beginning here. I've actually got the sheets that I've designed for the planner. Um, I've got, we'll have them on my blog for you to purchase and download however if you do happen to buy your planner kit from me or your refill kit then you'll get the planner sheets for free. October I went away and I spent um, a few days with my friend who had just moved. It was a lot, a lot about coffee so I've just jazzed it up. I've put some strips of DSP down the bottom. I put some stamps on the background there so you can still see what you're writing, what's coming up and stuff like that and I've just cut out, these are the little cups out of the designer series paper. I've cut those out, stuck them in. Per cup stamp from the Merry Cafe stamp set. One, I love you and coffee. So that was all and some, I've just stamped the coffee beans across the top here. So that is what I've done and then I've still got everything happening during the month. Now when I turn over the page, let me just find one. See I told you I haven't been using it to its potential. So what I might do is do a couple of update videos on this for you just to show how I decorate it each month and the things I'm putting into it and how I'm sort of remembering things that have happened and stuff like that. So this is the week that I went to Libby's. Okay, so I've got this. This is just, let me just say, this is just a one of our memories and more cards. This one came from the Perfect Days pack. All right, so just let me just say, and I've just stuck that on to the page with a bit of washi tape across the top there. You have a cheer suite, all right? So I've just stuck that on so it sort of just acts as like a little flip down there. So being washi tape, I can remove that if I want to. If I want to transfer this into my Memories and More album, well, then I can. I've already got the journaling done there for it. So so I've got my little coffee cups. This also is from the um, Merry Cafe stamp set. So I've got those all through, just putting it all up through the... The month there like that. This again is another one from, from the Memories and More kit and I've just punched it out with my half circle punch. So I've just punched that out of the middle and just stuck that down with some snarl into the book and I've just written down here what we did on the day. You get your planner. The dates aren't dated right so they can be for any year so they're not year specific or anything like that and you can start your calendar whatever it suits you stampin up we go from october to september you can set that up so it does it for the stampin up year being in australia we our financial year is july to the end of june so you could set it up as a fiscal calendar as well so whichever way that suits you each month you can sort of take the the month that's just happened and put that at the back if you want to just keep working at the front all the time so it's up to you how you work those out now also in your planner kit you get these sheets you get three sheets of each of these um, so you've got these stickers here so you get got the little icons here that you can put in you know if you're going to a craft day going to a party road trip you now i had a good day going out for dinner you've got all of those there plus you've got all your little frames and flowers and things like that you can use throughout your planner as well then we've got these lovely gold stickers there's three sheets of these as well now what I'm going to do is I am going to jazz up the front of mine I'm just going to peel these off so with these gold ones you can just peel the outline off and leave the insert so you could actually use those to build a rose 
let's see how we go. I'm just pulling the rose off. I'm just going to pop that down in the corner there. Now we've got these little hearts here. Alright, so it looks like you've got the middle heart, then you've got that heart, and then you've got another heart. So you've actually got like three hearts that you can use here. So I'm just going to pull off this one. I'll pop that over there. One in the middle. And I'll pop that there. And this heart I'll pop over here. We know this is called the Love Today Planner. So you can decorate that as you like, or you can just leave it with the, the plain blue polka dots as well. So very, very sturdy. It actually comes in a, a good strong box, so it's well protected when you get it. They make great Christmas presents. So if you have anybody that likes to do planning, anybody that likes stationery and things like that, they will love one of these for Christmas. All right. I'll just show you a couple of the planner sheets that I've got up the front. These are more specific to Stampin' Up! people a sheet for long-term goals and you can write down here what your goal is when you want to do it by what you need to do to check to achieve your goal and how the steps you're going to take to, to to make that happen and then of course we've got down the bottom the date that you actually made it happen so there's that as well so that is that one now this one here is specific to Stampin Up people um, this is the different levels that you can get to with Stampin' Up and then I've got down here I filled mine out I should have left it blank so you can write down here you've got your title 12 month sales because everything's done on rolling 12 month sales we've got your direct team and your leadership so I've written down the title here that I want to get to or you can write down what you're currently at at the moment on the top line you can do it either way and then I've got what I'm at at the next line and then the that third line is what I need to do to promote to that next title so that is that one and then why I want to promote so you write down your why okay and you also write down how you're going to make it happen so the different things that you're going to do to okay and then I've got the incentive trip tracker okay um, I haven't updated this in a few days but that's okay so this is for the next Stampin Up incentive trip which is a cruise to the Greek Isles so on here I've got how you earn all your different flex points and what they're all worth for your promotions and things like that then I've got a little chart here that you can color in to show as you go and then your goals for each quarter as well so what you want to do to achieve that goal and where you want to be at the end of each quarter you can write down in there so that is the incentive trip tracker and then I've got the details of our compensation plan here all about commissions and how much you earn and things like that and then this one here is about your bonuses and your flex points for when you promote and your team promote and things like that so that the other sheets here these are still businessy business type ones now even if you're not a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you work for a different party plan you could still use your planner okay the sh some of these sheets would still work for whatever party plan you are with so this is a shopping list okay I've done this one specifically for demonstrators or for party planners because you get through the month I know we use a lot of our own sort of products and things like that a lot of it's consumable so you know when I run out of ribbon or I run out of dimensionals I think oh yeah I'll have to order that on my next order and more often than not it's the things like dimensionals and adhesives and the little things that I tend to forget to order so I've got this specifically to put into my planner for each month so that next time I put an order in and then refer back to this and go oh that's right I've got to order grid paper or I've got to order snails so that is that one there and then down the bottom just little prompts okay so is my order $250 or more then don't forget to order my stamp and rewards check my monthly sales so that would be just to see how close I am to the next override level so you know if I'm like five dollars off getting the next sort of higher rate of percentage well why wouldn't I put in an extra five dollars order another packet of dimensionals or something like that yeah so and just to check reports to see how you're going with your quarterly sales and things like that so that is that one there then I've got a monthly checkup it's just little prompts to sort of you know do a little checklist for your business you know if you need to send out birthday cards you know do I need to check if I've got parties scheduled I need to make some phone calls to book some parties things like that and then I've got some one specific to the team as well so that is that one um, then my meeting so this is for a one-on-one um, a -on -one meeting so it might be for something 
that a meeting that I make to talk to a potential recruit or it could be some you know one of my team wants to sort of sit down and have a chat about setting some goals one for a team meeting so the topics that where the venue will be the date that the meeting will be held the topics that we're going to discuss anybody that's promoted during the month in there or you know anybody that's achieved something and then the demonstration make and take so that's specific to that as well and then my class planner so for each class that I'll do I'll have one of these where I've got the cost the date that's being held the name of the class the details of the class who's coming if they've paid for class and then the class sales and income so I can work out how profitable each class is being for me so that are the, those are the ones that are specific to demonstrators and for businesses okay then I have some that are specific to everyday planner sheets for you guys as well so these will all be available on my blog so don't forget to check those out so there'll be two different lots that you can purchase so I've got a to-do list the things to do down there and I've got like a little quote down the bottom as well so you know that you've got your tasks and the ones you need to do as soon as possible any calls or emails that you need to make and or send and then a follow-up all right we have our weekly meal plan so again you've got for each day of the week I've set it up for breakfast lunch and dinner so I've started Weight Watchers we've started doing the meal planning and it's just it just saves a lot of money doing it that way and several trips to the grocery store as well so here's your shopping list here so you could have these two together in your planner just one on top of the other one okay so you can then jot down whatever you need in the different sections of the supermarket but a Christmas card list so that you can keep a record of your Christmas cards because then you know you, you send some out and go oh did I send it to Sue did I send one to Joe I can't remember so if you write them down you'll know who you've sent to and who you've received from and you know maybe you've received a card from someone you hadn't had on your list originally so then you can then jot that down in here say it's received and then get one of your own to send down to them so that's that one there and then we've got the birthday lists okay so these can then go behind each month so these are perpetual so they're for every month so i would have one in my sections for each month and then i just write down on here who has a birthday that month and what date and then i can just keep reusing these ones each um each year as well i just slot it into the new new ones so that is the birthday list okay this is a wish list all right that you can put into your planner so if you are at home you've got your planner open you're doing some work on some cards and things like that and then you get to the stage where you go oh I need to buy some snail or I need to buy some dimensionals you can write them down on your list or if you see me doing one of my Facebook live videos and you go oh I really like what Leonie's done with that embossing folder I'll have to get that embossing folder you can write that down on your list okay so then once you're ready to put your order through then you can just tally it up down the bottom now I've got a couple of prompts down the bottom on this one as well so if is your order over $250 well then you've earned stamp and rewards so please let me know what you want for your extra rewards okay you can put my details down the bottom and also um, is your order $170 or more I ask that simply because our Stampin' Up! kit you've got the option then of doing it as a business or doing it just for yourself or in a couple of friends and earning the 20% on your order download the files they're all in PDF format so all you need to do is print them out okay they will print out on an A4 sheet of paper now there is a line around here which is where you need to cut okay so I've got a little box around there which is the the right size for you to cut for it to fit into your album so you just need to grab your scissors or your trimmer to do that and there'll be a little blurb down the bottom about how to use the sheet if it's a, if it's got a different sort of meaning or anything like that some of them are just plain straightforward but others uh, I have a little bit of um, information down the bottom about that sheet so that is my um, they are my planner sheets so they will be available on my blog to purchase I have started to decorate for November November is stamp and blends month they start on the first of November and so I put in my just had color because it's stamp and blends month that I can sit there and I can color in with my stamp and blends in my planner and um, 
be, be quite happy so I thought okay well I've done that so I can be creative on this page here so what am I going to do for the other pages so I grabbed out our crafting forever stamp set which is this one here it actually has an angel policy stamp in there as well so it's got you, you've got your paper snips you've got a stamp you've got some lovely pens there you've got the peg with the, the twine around it plus you've got the cup of brushes pencils and a um, craft knife in there as well so lots of cool things in that stamp set so then I've just gone through and I've just stamped them just just softly I think this one here is in Sahara sand and then I've got this one that's just in darker colors the sentiments I've just done a little bit darker and I've just popped some so I do something creative every day it's a good little prompt for you to have if you sort of get tied up with a busy month we still need to make sure that we do things for ourselves okay and then just I've just used that stamp set all through the month so I will have those up on my blog today and each month one little video and it won't go as long as this one has today I'm sorry it's been so involved